Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my March favorites. It might get a little awkward in this video because I live right next to a middle school and kids are walking home from school now and my window's open. So I'm going to talk about all the products I have been loving this month. I'm still a little bit sick. In my last video I did the Forever 21 haul and as soon as I was done filming that video, like it hit me so hard. I had to lay in bed like I really feel like I had the flu, but I'm feeling a little bit better. So, yeah. So the first thing I really want to mention is the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. I've had this for like a year and I never really liked to use it because it had like little shimmers in it, but I actually really, really like it. And it's funny because what made me want to use it is my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder that I bought and I ended up really, really loving. So then I thought, let me try my e.l.f. one a little bit more because it kind of has similar concept. And I ended up really, really liking it. I do like my Laura Mercier just a little bit more because it doesn't have those flecks of glitter. But once you apply this under your eye, most of that glitter falls off anyway. This is a great setting powder for your concealer because it really minimizes creasing. It has that really silky like HD texture that helps the concealer set and it doesn't crease. And it was $3 and it's freaking amazing. You can get e.l.f. at Target and a bunch of other places now and I really recommend the high definition setting powder. Okay, so in a recent video, I talked about how there was an under eye moisturizer that I had really, really been loving and that I had noticed an incredible difference, but I didn't really go into much detail. And recently, a couple of you have told me that my under eye circles aren't as dark as they used to be. And I got a comment like in my last video like, hey, have you been using a different moisturizer? Because your under eyes look a lot brighter than usual without makeup. Like I had a bare face and I got like two comments on that and I was like, oh my god, people are noticing? That's crazy. And I'm talking about the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Eye, a restorative concentrate of essential oils and botanicals for fresher, younger looking eyes by morning. I have been using this religiously for about two months. <laughs> hey Porter, how'd you get here? For about two months now and wow, wow. That's really all I can say. I've used a ton of under eye creams. And there are some that I really like. The one that I was using before this was the Origins one and I really liked it. But once I started using this and I saw the incredible difference this made, I realized that every other eye cream before this was pretty much crap. I didn't really notice results until after like a month of me using it religiously and my dark circles have minimized so much. They aren't as blue, they aren't as dark as they used to be. Um, my crow's feet even, like just this texture around my eyes is completely different but mainly I noticed that my dark circles are just so much lighter. It really blew me away and I like the fact that it's lightweight it kind of sinks in almost immediately. I don't feel it greasy underneath my eyes at all. Recommend this. I love Kiehl's. I have been really into some new skincare lately and I feel like my skin has been looking pretty good because of it. So if you want me to do an updated like current skincare obsessions, then I will definitely do that. Okay, so I have a lot of products and I feel like I'm already really far into this video. So I'm going to try to speed it up. So I want to talk about a single eyeshadow and this is the eyeshadow that was all over my entire lid um, and my recent favorites, my February favorites. And it's Bobbi Brown's eyeshadow in Camel. And this is what it looks like. As you can see, it's pretty much amazing. It looks like, like baby poop and I love that. I got this at a CCO. I went to a CCO when I was down in Orlando or up in Orlando now I should say. And I saw that there was a CCO in the outlets of the premium outlets in Orlando. And I went looking for Heat Wave for me and Laura and I couldn't find Heat Wave. So I stumbled across this. And when I saw it at the CCO I thought, oh my god, does that mean that this is discontinued? And turns out it is. But I bought it anyway because it is so incredibly beautiful and it was discounted. 
and I wear this all the time. Like I always have this on my eyelids now. It's actually what's in my crease. I have this and Max Texture just thrown in my crease and that's pretty much all I have on my eyes. It's beautiful because it's not a typical brown. It's very warm, very like yellow and I love this. Because it is discontinued, I, it kind of sucks that I, I don't want to really talk about it, but Max Uninterrupted is pretty much an exact dupe for this and that's permanent and it's available, so if you're looking for a color similar to this, I would definitely go for Max Uninterrupted. I am loving this color. I have worn this blush like four times this month, and that's saying a lot since I have pretty much a lot of blushes. It's the NYX HD blush in Soft Spoken. This is what they look like. NYX came out with a bunch of new blushes in this little packaging with the little bow. It's their new HD blushes. And I really love this one in Soft Spoken. It's such a beautiful light peach. I like that the pigmentation isn't crazy or over the top. Those blushes that I barely tap my brush in and then I have like a big giant pink circle on my face. They drive me crazy. I like ones that I can build up slowly. And I feel like this gives me that. It doesn't mean it's not pigmented because it's very pigmented, but I like that it's soft. Okay, so I'm going to talk about complexion products because I feel like I've been loving a lot of face things. I, I don't know what's up with the jazz hands, but anyway. These are the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops, and I've been using this a ton. Um, I have mine in G30, and these are this is basically pure pigments, like in a little bottle. It comes with a dropper. Mine is a little bit dirty because I have been using it nonstop. It's like a serum-y texture, but they're pretty much like pure pigments. This is supposed to be made to use with skincare. Um, like a moisturizer, a primer, whatever, just to give more coverage. You can mix this in with other foundations to give more coverage, a BB cream, and stuff like that. It's pretty much to add that kick of coverage to your look, but I like using it by itself. I've used it with moisturizer, um, and I really like how it looks with moisturizer, but I really like how it looks by itself. It's crazy 100% full on coverage, and you're not supposed to use it by itself, but I don't care. Rules, there are no rules. <laughs> That's from Greece, right? Like when they're about to race. He's about to race that guy, like in the black car, and that guy's like, rules, there are no rules. First, back and forth from the something wins. What? I don't know. Anyway, my point is, I really like these new cover effects custom cover drops. And I actually really like it mixed with my Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum. This is my favorite drugstore foundation besides the Revlon color stay, like when I want a fresh face. And I actually like how this matches together because it gives it more coverage. Because this is more like a light, fresh, buildable, medium coverage foundation and this just makes it that full on coverage with that light feel. I got that Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum on Amazon by the way. I think it was like $15, I'm not sure. So my next product is another foundation that I've had for a while, but I've just recently started to see how freaking fabulous this foundation is and it is the Makeup Forever Face and Body Liquid Makeup. This is the foundation I have on my face right now. I only wear it when I'm self tanning because it is my self tanning shade. This is just like the MAC Face and Body Foundation if you've used that before. The MAC one used to be my favorite like holy grail foundation for about two months and then I started noticing that it was giving me these weird white bumps underneath my skin so I had to stop using it which sucks because this is like 80% water. You would think it wouldn't break me out but every single MAC foundation touches my skin and I break out. This one thankfully did not break me out and I, and I think that it might be even better than the MAC one. This is a very, very light coverage, watery consistency. Like I said, it's like 70% water. But it has buildable coverage, believe it or not. This is bigger than your average foundation. An average foundation has like about one fluid ounce. This has 1.69. So I think they make it bigger because you do use more. When I just want to even up my skin tone, I use about two pumps. When I want more coverage, I use about four pumps because two pumps is really, really light, like on the skin. It's just basically gonna even out your skin tone. And when I like to build it up to give myself just a little bit more coverage, I use like four pumps. So I use like four pumps on my face today. And even though I don't have problematic skin or a lot of acne on my face, I feel like this leaves my face flawless, like just airbrushed and so beautiful. And I don't think I have any foundation that leaves my skin as beautiful as this. 
I think I might even like this one more than my Makeup Forever HD foundation, which is my favorite high-end foundation ever. I don't know which one I like more at this point. This one photographs really well, and it's actually super long-wearing. It's waterproof or like water-resistant. I love the finish so freaking much. The only negative, honestly, I love everything about it. The only negative is this smells so freaking strong. Like, I don't even like paint but like strong, strong paint that it even lingers on my face while I'm applying it. But as soon as it, I'm done with the rest of my makeup, like I can't smell it anymore, but that initial application with that smell just drives me freaking nuts. But I can look past that because it's freaking amazing. I bought it on Sephora.com and I'm so happy because I love it. So my next favorite is a powder and I don't really talk about powder because since my skin is so dry, I freaking hate powders. But I really, really, really love this one. This is the Bourjois Healthy Balance 10 Hours Matte Finish and Natural Healthy Glow Powder. I have mine in 53 Beige Claire. And this is what it looks like. I really, really love this powder. Even though it says matte on the front, it's such a silky texture that it doesn't feel cakey on my face. It doesn't look cakey on my face. It almost feels creamy to the touch, like literally creamy. I love it and I'm pretty sure like Overseas, it's very inexpensive, and I'm pretty sure you can get this like at the drugstore, like in the UK. Um, a viewer actually sent me this, so I'm very, very grateful. Thank you, Norma, because I really love it and I can't get it in the States. So, while I was in California for IMATS, I stumbled upon a store that said The Body Shop on it, and I was really excited because they sold makeup, and I had never seen any of the Body Shop makeup. So, I picked up this bronzer. This is the bronzing powder in the shade Light Matte 01. And I really love it. It quickly has become one of my top five favorite matte bronzers because it looks so natural on the skin. If you have very fair skin, like very, very fair skin, I think you would really like this up until like light medium skin tones. Dark skin tones will not benefit from this because it is so light. But I find that fair skin has a hard time finding good bronzers for them that don't make them look muddy or that aren't too dark. And this one is a good one. It kind of has like a pinky undertone. I don't know how to explain it. But it just looks so natural and sun-kissed on the skin. I'm wearing just a little bit of this on my cheeks. I actually have the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Kit on my face. And then I just put a little bit of this on my cheeks. It's very silky. It is the most blendable bronzer ever. So easy to use. And I just think it's a really good one. Just for a second, I'm going to jump over to hair. I purchased this at my next and um, it's freaking amazing. This is the Matrix Biolage Hydro... I feel like I can't talk because my nose is so stuffy. Hydrosource Daily Leave-In Tonic for Dry Hair. This is basically a leave-in treatment, like a leave-in spray and I really like it because it's not a cream form. I use a lot of like leave-in conditioners on my hair that are like a creamy consistency and this is more like a like a liquid. I don't know, but I have been using this in my hair every time I wash it. I'll just spray this all over my hair and this makes my hair so incredibly soft that it literally shocked me the first time I used this. It has aloe in it and it's just, it makes my hair really, really soft, which is a big thing for me since my hair is pretty freaking damaged. I like it to feel soft and this makes it feel soft. Two lip products I want to mention. The first is the NYX High Voltage Lipstick in the shade Stone. This lipstick is so unique and so pretty. It's a very, very cool toned nude. It has like a beigey gray undertone. Really, really gorgeous. I know that that sounds weird. I use this lipstick in my like purple and taupe makeup tutorial and I love how it is, how it looks. It's very glossy, very pretty. I recommend all the high voltage lipsticks. They're actually really good. They last a decent amount of time on my lips and they're cheap and really good, like I just said. Another lipstick I want to talk about is the lipstick I'm wearing right now. These are my favorite colors to put on my mouth. I love orange reds, like those red lipsticks that have that orange undertone, they are my favorite to wear. That's why I can never, like I could, like I'm always like, like this, waiting for spring and summer because I love red lips. Red lipsticks are my favorite lipsticks to wear, especially orangey ones. And this one is so amazing. This is Craving Coral. It's from the matte collection from Maybelline. You guys know that this matte collection is like my life. 
And this one in Craving Coral is beautiful. It's so vibrant, so pretty, very pigmented, and I just love how it wears. I love how it looks. It doesn't bleed. These lipsticks are freaking fabulous, and this one is definitely going to be a go-to for me, especially in the spring and summertime. Oh, it looked like I flipped you off there for a second. I'm sorry. I want to talk about a nail polish really quick. Now, I've only had this nail polish for like about a week, but... I mean, I'm kind of cheating because it's only been a week, but this nail polish is at the top for me. At the freaking top. I love this polish so much that if I can choose my top five favorite polishes of all time, this one would land into that. This is the Zoya nail polish in the shade Miley. <laughs> Miley. And it's the nail polish I'm wearing on my fingers right now. I saw this nail polish actually, it's a funny story. Actually, it's not funny at all. I was uh, scrolling through Pinterest. This is how I scroll through Pinterest. I was scrolling through Pinterest and I saw somebody's nails like this and I was like, oh my god, that color is absolutely beautiful and I saw that in the description it said Zoya Miley. So I immediately went onto the Zoya website and I purchased it and it got here and it was just as beautiful as it was on Pinterest, which rarely happens. It is one of those formulas that isn't a cream, like it's a gel, like a jelly consistency, which I really love about it because it honestly looks like I'm wearing a gel manicure because it's so shiny. When you do the first coat, you're like, oh my god, this is awful. This is gonna be a freaking disaster because it is kind of sheer. But then when you put on that second coat, it's such a beautiful finish. It is still just like a little bit sheer, but that's what I love about it. I think it's so feminine and so sweet and soft. And I love these lavender lilac colors, but this one is just special. Out of all like my light purple colors, this one is freaking special. I highly recommend it. I love it so much. Okay, so I quickly want to talk about two Etsy shops and then I can wrap this video up. This video is literally like 30 minutes long. Okay, so I have gotten so many questions about my phone case. And I got it from an Etsy shop called Simply Monogram. I will link their Etsy shop down below. They have fantastic phone cases. I have like two other ones in my closet from them. Not only are they beautiful, but they're actually really good quality. My cousin Janine came over last weekend and she was like, wow, you have a ton of scratches on this phone and none of the paint has chipped off. And it hasn't. Like the paint doesn't come off. And I'm telling you, I throw this sucker across the room. Like, I am not very careful with this. I have my monogram right here, which is KFD, Kathleen Danny, and our last name, Fuentes, my little monogram. And they're customizable. You can pretty much put anything on the phone. They have a ton of different phone case selections. They have iPad covers everything to the iPhone 4, to the iPhone 6 Plus, they've got it all. So I'm gonna link it down below because they have this exact one still on the Etsy shop and it's pretty freaking amazing and I love it. So my other favorite, um, I just wanted to include it because it has to do, it has to do with monograms as well. And it's where I keep my jewelry, oh it's still in here, it's where I keep my jewelry and my rings in this really cute um, little monogram bowl and I had, shown this in my makeup collection video and I got a lot of questions about it. So I will link their um, Etsy shop down below as well. I think it's Jean and Grace Designs. Um, and when I went to check for their Etsy shop today to show you guys, they're kind of like on hold because um, one of the girls like had a baby or something. There's a mosquito in here. So their Etsy shop is like on hold for now, but I'll still link in down below for when they come back from their little maternity leave. So yeah, those were the things I have really, really been loving this month. Leave a comment down below on your favorite product in the month of March. And I will be sure to check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. There's a freaking mosquito in here. And Selena has been trying to eat it for 20 minutes. Did you just see it? To me on a summer breeze, keep me warm and you love and you soften. I like barely tap my blood. Blah. What? Don't do it. Watch it. <laughs> you look marvelous, darling. Marvelous. I really need to learn.
the products I've really been loving. <sighs> oh my god, Selena, I'm gonna kill you!